Hey everyone, happy June. My name is Leslie and welcome to my channel, Books, Gurs, and Purrs. Today I'm just going to be going over a couple of books I bought for the month of June. Once again, I tell myself every month I'm not going to buy any more books and then I proceed to buy a whole bunch. <laughs> so the book that I'm going to go over first is Gender Queer by Maya Kobabe. I heard about this book through Instagram. I think the author just came up in my feed and they were talking about how their book became uh, a banned book, a controversial book. So with that, I went ahead and picked up a copy and on the back it says, In Gender Queer, Maya Kobabe has crafted an intensely cathartic autobiography about her path to identifying and as non-binary and asexual and coming out to her family and society by addressing questions about gender identity, what it means and how to think about it. The story also doubles as a much needed, useful and touching guide. So this just sounds interesting. And also it's, it's written in the form of a graphic novel, which I didn't know until this very moment when I cracked it open. So um, I will be reading that. Uh, the second book I came across also on Instagram and I tried looking around my local bookstores um, as I peruse them as usual. Uh, I couldn't find it so I ended up having to order it on Amazon I think. I think that's what I had to do. And it's Slug and Other Stories by Megan Milks. On the back it says, a woman metamorphoses into a giant slug. Another quite literally eats her heart out. A wasp falls in love with an orchid and hair starts sprouting from the walls. These stories slip and slide between mediums, from video games to fan fiction, body horrors to choose your own adventure. As characters cycle through giddying changes in gender, uh, physiology, species, and identity. Finally, back in print, Slug and Other Stories is a revised edition of the author's debut collection and a testament to the messy ontological of queer feelings by a revolution uh, I'm sorry by revelatory new voice I don't know anything about this collection I was just um, taken in by the cover <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool and so I will be reading this probably soon I've already scheduled what I'm gonna read for the rest of the year that's almost a motorcycle and I just couldn't help myself so I picked this up All right, I waited for the motorcycle to leave. All right, the next book that I'm going to be reading at some point that I picked up from Village Well in Culver City is Rainbow Milk by Paul Mendez. I just picked this up today. I read the back of it and I knew that's it. My daughter and I just walked over uh, to the bookstore from the park and I said, let's just take a peek but it, <laughs> she called me out and said, we never just take a peek. We always walk out with books. And that's exactly what happened. And on the back of the book, it says, in the 1950s, ex-boxer Norman Alonzo is a determined and humble Jamaican who has emigrated to Britain with his wife and children to, to secure a brighter future. Blighted by racism and unexpected illness, Norman and his family are resilient but all too aware that their family will need more than just hope to survive in their new country. So I love the cover of this one as well. This is absolutely beautiful. And um, so yeah, I'll be, I'll be reading this. I don't know when, um, but I'm, I got sucked in. This is, I love the name of the book. I, I can't wait to read it and see how actually just the title itself is explored. So I'll be reading this. All right, the next book, which I couldn't help myself. I knew this was coming out and I told myself to wait until um, a paperback edition came in, but I saw this at the bookstore and then I couldn't help myself. And that's You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty by Akweke Emezi. I love this author. I also read what's mentioned 
on the bottom here the death of Vivek Oji and what else did I read by this author I haven't read bitter yet I know that just came out but I can't keep up with the author I read pet I read the book pet I'm in a I'm in the middle of reading fresh water and the death of Vivek OG, which I said I, I've read it, but look at this cover. This is gorgeous. I love this orange. <laughs> All right, so it says, and I'm sorry if I'm, I'm really just like picking this up and reading it, so if I mess anything up, um, I'm sorry. So Fei Arecola wants to learn how to be alive again. It's been five years since the accident that killed the love of her life and she's almost a new person now an artist with her own studio sharing a brownstone apartment with her ride or die best friend joy who insists it's time for Faye to ease back into the dating scene so i'll just stop there i don't want to read too much i don't want to know too much about it i've also seen the author speak on Trevor Noah's Daily Show. Um, I love them. I, <laughs> I've said that before, so I'll just read anything that they write and I look forward to this. This is an, another one of those books where I don't know what to do. It's, it's going to bump something. Maybe I'll have like a, a month of romance at some point, but it's so gorgeous. So those are all the books that I put, picked up in the month of June. And I'm telling myself, don't pick up anymore. <laughs> That's where I'm at. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if you watch this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment if you've read any of these books. Um, let me know what you think about them. Uh, every single one I'm intrigued by. And I can't wait to get my grubby little hands on them and start reading them. All right. Uh, I'll talk to you later.